this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a specific zodiac sign. The intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. That being said, let's get started. Happiness, when I mean, we start off with the 10 of cups, this is a card of a very complete picture and understanding this is the house with the white picket fence or whatever your sort of idealized vision is, that's where we start. That's what represents you. Cross with celebration. I mean, this could talk about a wedding. This could talk about a event of celebration. It could talk about a coming together or reunion. But this isn't rooted in the past. This is, um, I feel like there's an understanding of your blessings in some way. You sort of wait patiently for what's to come. You may not even have all the situations worked out. You may even be confused about the options that work for you and what don't work for you, how you want your life to actually look. I feel like a lot of that you're navigating, but there's sort of this inner peace that you've discovered um, where you can sort of rest easy in that energy and basically finding your ideal life in the present moment. Probably an ending of some kind of long-standing commitment or, um, you know, anything like that. There may even be sort of a harsh energy to this, which is maybe, maybe you're not sure how you feel about it, you know, whether you're in the right or wrong or whatever. But, you know, the fact is, is you're sort of choosing this unique path for yourself. Maybe not everybody agrees with that. Maybe some people got hurt. Maybe some people hurt you. But, you know, this is forming a very unique path for yourself that I think will, you know, <clears throat> okay, you're going to have to stop overthinking it though, or over investigating it. You know, I, I'm not sure, maybe there's certain things that have occurred or certain choices you've made that have increased your level of joy or happiness. Keep moving in that direction. Move away from the past regurgitated babble of your mind that only leads to a lack of victory a lack of um, confidence it, it dims your shine you're maybe trying to sort of temper something or um, let go of certain things or people gently because you kind of fear being stuck in a rut or a disposition. You also may not be feeling very committal to much of like anyone, especially in your personal life. You're sort of going after um, a truth for yourself, a, a growth for yourself. And you know, when we have the sun and the outcome, and by the way, this is accompanied with some kind of ending or stepping away from some level of tradition and focusing on the goals ahead. This brings the sun. When you have the sun in your outcome, I mean, this represents all prosperity. This card to me, I mean, all energy on life, nothing on earth could live without the sun, okay? This is what allows all growth and prosperity to happen. And sometimes there's periods of evolution, if we're referring to the world and nature and sun and everything else, right? There's periods of evolution that have, have to happen in order to grow to a certain point in the grand scheme of things, right? And we all know that that's not normally pre pleasant. You know, all the dinosaurs had to die to get to where we are, right? Evolution from the monkey to the man or whatever. Um, all that stuff. Um, or, you know, whatever your belief is, you know. Um, but, I, you know, I guarantee there's been a long process of changes, of battles, of wins, of losses, of extinctions, of, you know, everything. All that is necessary to form what we see before us now.
You might be feeling a, lot, a little bit discontent. Although you're trying not to let it get the better of you, you're very much trying to stay in a place of logical action. Um, and this allows you to walk away from sort of past poisons, okay? Now what I mean by that is this could have been something you valued, this could have been something very important to you or that served you in some way, but at a certain point, it started to take from you, it started to debilitate you, it started to become an addiction or a problem or a poison. And as you leave that behind, you retire to the hill of the hermit for wisdom, insight, self-reflection, um, and not to mention a much better view of the land in its entirety. You can now see the full scope of things rather than sort of zeroing in on one detail that is driving you crazy or is exciting you or whatever. It's remaining neutral through that in order to take consistent action. And this, my friend, brings you to the emperor, a level of self-control, refinement, discipline. This is the father of the deck. This is someone who is militant and has control over his life, be it earthly, spiritually, mentally, physically. You can assure yourself the emperor has it together. This is, again, you know, don't anticipate explosions one way or the other for the good or the bad. Just sort of continue moving with an optimistic and dedicated frame of mind and surely success, success awaits you. However, with over-investigation, spying, breakdowns in communication, all this sort of paranoia, everything else, well, this just depletes your creativity, your energy, and your vitality. And I wouldn't expect much to come of that. So I'm going to take this a bit further on my Patreon. Um, so if you want to see the extension to this reading, that's the first link below. If you enjoyed this reading, um, please do like and subscribe, support the channel. Um, that helps a great deal. And I hope you guys have a great day.